Greetings and welcome back to Evan's fasting vlog. It is officially day number one fasting. That's right, I have had zero food today. Yesterday, uh, what I was calling day 0.5, <laughs> um, day zero was the last day with actual food, which was the day after Christmas, the 26th. Yesterday, the 27th, was juice only. Uh, the wonderful people here at True North Health Center brought me four juices throughout the day. They were like a watermelon celery and a celery apple and a celery this and that. So uh, they were great. They were super fresh and good and I enjoyed those and that's all I had. Uh, it's a great transition into the full-on water-only fasting like I'm doing now. Actually, uh, I've been watching so many wonderful educational videos here. When you check in to True North Health Center, they give you a fat box full of DVDs, uh, lectures, um, all about nutrition, fasting, et cetera, et cetera, related materials, um, psychology and how to get through fasting and how to make lasting lifestyle changes and all that. Yeah, I'm just trying to get my uh, Soul Twin Messiah music from the Love <laughs> Paradigm shirt in the shot. But anyway, um, let's see, so much I wanna report now. Uh, back to those videos, I was gonna mention that uh, in a Michael Clapper MD, Dr. Michael Clapper video that I watched, uh, he is truly heroic and really has spent his life putting messages of good nutrition and health out there for people. And he mentioned that when you're doing the juice juice fast, it's actually not a fast, it's a low calorie, like 600 or two to 600 calorie a day juice, well, liquid diet, he called it, sorry. So it's a liquid diet. So for one day I did liquid diet, now I'm actually fasting. They say water only fasting just to emphasize for people who don't understand that when you're fasting, you're not eating. Uh, I read, I'm reading a book right now about the complete guide to fasting and he talks about how um, the difference that he makes between fasting and starvation is fasting is by choice. You're choosing not to eat. You could eat, but you're choosing not to, whereas starvation is when you can't eat, you don't have food, there's no food available, so you're starving. Um, not starving yourself. Actually, Dr. Clapper makes a, a quite different, in my opinion, it's quite different, uh, analysis and distinction between those two things. Dr. Clapper says that when you are fasting, you're burning fat, you're in ketosis, so you're making ketones, but um, the guy in the Complete Guide to Fasting book says that um, you are, your, your fasting is you're just doing it by choice. But Dr. Clapper makes a further distinction about what you're burning, that if you are star starving, if it's starvation, you're burning muscle, you're burning you know, good tissue in your body that you should be keeping and using. And that if you're fasting, you're actually just burning fat and other things. So. I personally like the distinction that Dr. Clapper makes. Um, they're both good. Actually, you know, the other one makes sense very much as well. So, I've been watching those videos, learning a ton, and uh, the day of juicing was, was great. It was a good day. I did get to have the juice. Uh, never really got hungry. You know, you feel the stomach churning and you get little pangs or whatever, but I wouldn't call it hunger. I was, I didn't, I was never certainly tempted to, to you know, break the fast or anything, and there were some beautiful bowls of berries around here, <laughs> but uh, no, I, I no temptation, certainly not right now. And uh, it was a great day of juice. Uh, I didn't make a video that day. Sorry if you missed me, uh, but I just uh, you know, I got through the day. There wasn't much to report. Uh, at the end of the day, got late, and I, I had that moment of oh god, I'm gonna go to bed. Should I make that video? Mm, I let it go mainly because it still wasn't the fasting day, so it wasn't a fasting vlog. Um, and again, there just wasn't that much to report. Today, of course, oh my God, absolutely. It's fasting vlog day one, welcome to it. So grateful you've joined me. I'm so great to be here. So great to be doing this and having this experience. I put a picture up uh, on Facebook that um, uh, was taken of me uh, lying out in the sun. I got my uh, blood test results back from Dr. Strucker here at True North Health Center and uh, what a wonderful doctor and a wonderful man. And he, um, gave me my results of my blood test. They were incredible, they were wonderful. Uh, everything looked just like too good to be true, too good to be having health problems, but 
I do, I feel them, I don't feel perfect, and that's why I'm doing this fast. So, the one thing that was uh, slightly below the recommended uh, range, uh, a slight deficiency there, was vitamin D. And our bodies can make vitamin D naturally, but we need the sunshine to help us do it. So I was lying out, lounging in a chaise lounge in the sunshine today. It was a beautiful day, 60 degrees, but I tell you, I had shorts and my open exposed body and it was beautiful. It was not cold at all. The sun was just so warming and, and vitalizing. And so I got my vitamin D fix for the day. I'm committed to doing that uh, more and more moving forward in life in general, get out in the sun. Um, for a limited time, just enough time to make enough vitamin D, but not enough to get burned or, or you know, cause the skin problems in the long term. So I did that. That was wonderful. Felt great. I ran into some people on the way out. It's very social around here and people have been asking about me since I've been hiding out. I didn't go to the dining room at all during juice fast day. Why go? I'm not eating. I didn't want to be tempted and wouldn't, wouldn't be didn't want to be teased by seeing all that food. So and I, I wanted to lie low a bit and, and be more sedentary and just chill. Uh, that's part of the fasting protocol as I understand it is don't exert. If you're fasting, you're not out burning the normal energy that you do in a day. And um, I commented to the attending doctor today uh, about that. We have two rounds of doctors every day. You get seen twice and really checked in on. You get a nurse in the morning, a doctor, a doctor later. And I was telling the doctor that I, I understood that when you're fasting, you really should hunker down and I'm choosing to, to follow that protocol. So today I've been really close to home other than one trip outside to the sun and uh, in, en route, our neighbors uh, summoned me in and I went in and uh, saw a neighbor I know and met a couple new neighbors and uh, just they were asking me questions. So I am asked questions, I gave answers. I'm a pretty open book. Glad to share my experiences. Again, I do feel that my purpose in life, why I'm here on earth, is to inspire, educate, and share. I believe that we are one human family, that it's clearly proven that we all come from the same roots, same sources. Whatever narrative or story about the human history you believe, most of them include some single convergent point. And so I'm glad to, glad to share uh, my experiences in the hopes that they will help inspire others to recognize our kinship, honor that by loving our brothers and sisters or cousins as I call them because we are literally cousins. And uh, although I love the term brothers and sisters as well. Um, so I uh, am sharing my story and hoping that it inspires others to get healthy, to share their stories, to live in, in better harmony. Uh, Kip and I have come up with a new uh, motto, tagline, slogan, mission, if you will, for soul, soul twin messiah, is um, we, we of course want to inspire conscious evolution. We believe in that so much. I watched a bunch of Barbara Marks Hubbard's videos today about conscious evolution and vision for humanity. But um, conscious evolution is a little heady for some people and, and people aren't as familiar with the term. So uh, now we're saying we are here to inspire harmony with the individual and the collective. And by that I mean harmony within ourselves, harmony around us with one another, and then harmony with the greater whole, the world, the universe, however far out there you want to go with it, but find harmony with it, please, for all of our sake. We'll all benefit, and of course, so will you. So it starts with us. Um, that's uh, our friends Harold and John at the Love Foundation <clears throat> like to say that love begins with me. So I'm here proclaiming myself on the love journey. Um, Grateful that you've joined us. So, what else can I share? Uh, the experience of fasting, day one. I have done 36 hour fast before, which means you have dinner one night and then the next day you don't eat anything all day and then you have breakfast the following morning. So it's a total of 36 hours, but it's one full day without food. And um, so, I'm, I'm not even there yet, uh, although I had a, a, a juice only liquid diet day yesterday and I have now not eaten all day today. It's uh, going on 10 o'clock at night. So when I wake up tomorrow, that will be an experience I've had before. And when I have had it before, oh boy, I wake up and I am ravished, famished, starved. 
and I am a little lethargic and loopy and a little, little lightheaded. It's always kind of goofy walking down the stairs and I want to just get something in right away. So we'll see how I feel tomorrow. I have felt quite good all day today. I've been drinking my water here. Uh, there's a, again, the protocol here is, is heavy water. So they have uh, pint glasses. Here, I'll share my pint glass with you. I'll even have a sip on cam. Mmm, delicious meal. Actually, they use distilled water here. So there are um, water dispensers in every, every room here and uh, you're always encouraged to drink lots of water. So it's a 16 ounce pint glass, but I fill it like three quarters full, which is about 12 ounce. And that's how they measure when they ask you how many glasses of water have you had? They're talking about a 12 ounce pour. So um, I've, I've been drinking my water all day. I've been feeling good. I've, I've had the, you know, the grumblings of what we typically uh, think of as hunger, but I, um, I, I, ha I certainly haven't been tempted. I haven't been starved. Uh, I felt quite good, really. Felt quite good, actually. I feel energy, although I'm, again, chilling, lying really low, and I did have two naps today for about an hour, hour and a half each. And um, so, so I'm doing great. Uh, we were just watching a movie, uh, Ray, the biopic about Ray Charles. Beautiful movie, beautifully done. Really bittersweet story about Ray Charles' life, and Jamie Foxx did an amazing job, and he did win the Oscar for that, I believe. So, um, but during what I was going to mention that didn't matter about the movie as much as, um, I did, uh, I burped at one point and a little bit of acid came up, a little kind of bile, stomach acid, whatever that was. So that was, that was a bit goofy. And, and I understand with fasting, you, you can come across so many different symptoms, uh, certainly nausea, even potentially vomiting or vomiting bile or kind of dry heaving can happen. Uh, it was sort of a hint that that might happen with me. So far it hasn't and I feel fine and I've been drinking the water and staying calm and mellow. So hopefully we'll just pull through that. We'll see what tomorrow looks like. But it's been a great day one of fasting. It's another great day here at True North Health Center. I really love this place. Dr. Goldhammer is absolutely one of my heroes and I'm so in gratitude and awe. I'm in awe of him, frankly, for what he's done for his, his entire life. I'm going to get him on camera and we're going to have a little talk and share with you um, what, what he has to share about his story, about uh, his life and health and choices and starting this clinic and all the people that he has helped and seen transform through this process of fasting and uh, adjusting the diet and lifestyle to a, a truly, fully nutritious way. Um, at the same time, I must admit that when I got my blood test results from Dr. Strucker, who came right to a room here today, it was great. He's in his shorts and his, his hoodie, and he just came really casual. He's such a sweet guy, such a nurturing man and a great doctor. And he went through all my results and really meticulously talked about what they mean and made notes about uh, the groupings of the results, which are electrolytes and which are the cholesterols and all that. And my numbers were so great on most every level. My protein was great. My sugar was nothing. It was so low. It was like 70 blood glucose. And the H1C numbers, the, the hemoglobin uh, H1C is the, the blood glucose over a three month period. I was honestly surprised to see it was very low, very clean, not pre-diabetic, none of that. And I must admit that although the last couple weeks in preparation for this fast, I have been um, off of sugar and doing a pure, beautiful plant-based diet, uh, very low oil, no sugar, uh, and that kind of stuff, whole foods. But um, to know that the, the couple weeks or the couple months that this result includes before that, I haven't been great, and I've been out sneaking stuff and even cinnamon rolls at Arizmendi and. God knows what all, ice cream at some point, um, that, that I'm okay. So really what it's telling me is, you know, maybe the 80-20 rule is the way, maybe 90-10 is even better, but that if we're eating at home and, you know, managing things the way we do with whole food, plant-based, minimal oils, minimal flours really uh, of any kind, even the, the, we don't have any wheat flour in the house, but you know, we use almond flour and coconut flour, different things in different recipes, chickpea flour, um, that 
okay, maybe maybe I can do a 90-10 or an 80-20 if I have to. Maybe I can eat out and eat whatever I want or or eat even like plant-based but, but have something fried or greasy or even the sugar, even the dessert, a vegan muffin over at Ares Mini Bakery, which are so wonderful, uh, or the gluten-free ones. Um, then maybe we can handle that. Uh, the guys at home have been eating a little bit of eggs. We get some eggs, at the nice fresh eggs, organic eggs at the farmer's market. Um, they really appreciate having those. Hell, I've, I haven't, I've been off of them, but if, if I can use an egg sometimes, boy, that opens up a lot of possibilities for the cooking. I read a great recipe for a cauliflower crust for pizza, but it uses egg. Um, I'm into the, the flaxseed egg and everything if they work great, then, then I'd probably rather do that. But, you know, although Michael Clapper talks about how terrible an egg is for the human body, they're just not meant for our body. They're a hyper rush of protein and cholesterol that we don't need. And then the body has to deal with those and it builds up the cholesterol and the bloodstream and everything. Um, you know, I'm trying to be healthy. I really want to be healthy, but I want to live in the real world too. And I see how, how challenging it is for people to, to go all the way with full, full, maximum, maximum health and never eat anything like eggs or anything that is from an animal source. Um, it's, it's, it's definitely a challenge to be social and live in our ultra social world, um, especially in, in, in the United States with the standard American diet and be able to pull that off. So we'll see, 2020 is the year of clear vision and I'm just gonna trust my heart and see how I feel. And I'm going to try and at least make conscious choices. I'm not gonna follow, I'm, I'm committed I don't know what I'm gonna do. I can't predict the future, but I'm committed to not following the impulses and that checking in with myself and saying, wait, is this impulse, is this addictive behavior, or am I making a conscious choice? And, and if I can make a conscious choice and it feels right, listen to my heart, hey, do I really want that right now? Should I really have that right now? Am I just pursuing pleasure and, and responding to ego or habit, or am I making a conscious choice and a decision to live rationally? We'll see, but that's where I'm headed and uh, just grateful for this opportunity and to share it with you and for you tuning in. And I'm grateful to Dr. Goldhammer for starting True North Health Center back in 1984 and continuing it all this time. And I'm grateful for all the people who are around here who are just social and wonderful and sharing their journey. And stay tuned, uh, hit the subscribe, you know, ask for the note, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I'm doing these and I'll keep this fasting vlog going. I'm not doing it for myself. So thanks for tuning in, much love, and I hope that you will be inspired to pursue your own journey of maximizing health and wellness and doing what it takes to get well in the face of a hostile environment where other people aren't necessarily doing that and they don't know and they're programmed and they're not committed. And here's to us recognizing that we're all programmed and it's, for better or worse, but so much for worse because of the system we live in and the almighty dollar and the pursuit of that and the fact that we've been given a sham about what's actually healthy so that someone could sell us food to make money. Let's, let's, you know, we understand that. Everyone needs to feed their family, but let's find our way through and find a healthier way to be with ourselves, with each other, and with the world. Go with love. Thanks so much. Take care. See you soon.